communities that we enjoy. The biggest win is to save a soldier's life and get them back to their family. The world needs more winners. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Dee Phillips, an emergency room nurse from Miami, Florida, is here now and going for $2,000. All right, you all set? Ready to play? Yeah. How about you, audience? You all set? Yeah, we're all set here. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, Dee, for $2,000, take a look. Yankee pot roast is traditionally made with what meat? Chicken, pork, Beef, fish. C, beef, final answer. Got it for $2,000. $4,000 coming up. Which of the following types of fabric is not typically made from animal hair? Cashmere, merino, angora, velvet. D, velvet, final answer. Yes, Velvet for four thousand dollars. Very good, D. Now here comes eight thousand dollars worth of question. In the 1979 single *The Rose*, what does Bette Midler compare to a river that drowns the tender reed? Love, peace, power, jealousy. A. Love. Final answer. Just one eight thousand dollars. Seven away from a million going for 16,000. Here it is. Blaise Pascal is famous for his work in which of these fields? Anthropology, mathematics, psychiatry, chemistry. Pascal. Pascal. I'm going to ask the audience on this one. Want to go for the audience? Sure. Audience, we need some help for D. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, mathematics uh, is the overwhelming choice of the audience, 61%. I'm, uh, I'm going to go with the audience. B, final answer. They're right for $16,000. Okay, D, here's the important one, 32000 Check it out. Historic activist Carrie Nation is famous for using a hatchet to attack what places? Saloons, banks, hospitals, courthouses. A, saloons, final answer. Yes, the $32,000. We're here with Dee Phillips from Miami, Florida. We told you she's an emergency room nurse, but it goes beyond that, doesn't it? Uh, you've worked in a lot of prisons around that area. Yeah. <laughs> My poor husband, he had to pick me up from almost every prison in Dade County. And there he is right back there. That's uh, Tom. Yeah. Nice to have you here, Tom. And your brother, Richard, as well. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you fellas here. Let's see how you're going to do here now. You're five questions away from $1 million. Miss, you've got two lifelines left, and we're going for $64,000. let us play. All right, here it is for 64,000 D. Monrovia is the capital of what African country? Cameroon, Liberia, Senegal, Ghana. Well, this is a free guess, so I'm going to say... And you have two lifelines if you're going to make it a guess. Strictly a guess? Strict, well... No geography buff on your phone a friend list? No geography buff on my You want to narrow list. it down by two and, and improve your chances of guessing it? I've got an idea, you know, the first thing to hit you oh, kind you of do. thing. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, so it's not a total guess. All right. E, Liberia. Final e, answer. Liberia, final answer. She's right for 64.
Here I am getting panicky because I don't want you to leave the two uh, lifelines on the table, and yet you knew it all the while. Four away from a million, $125,000, and here it is. Haley's Comet appeared in the skies right before what historic battle? Hastings, Verdun, Lexington, Waterloo. I'm going to narrow it down 50-50, please. Computer, take away two of those wrong ones. Hastings. A. Hastings. Final answer. Yes, for $125. Common was so big, it frightened many Europeans, and some claimed it gave the Normans a uh, victory. It's done that in a lot of historic cases. You know, you're doing terrific. You still have that phone a friend. You're going for $250,000. Take a look. In 1913, what movie was the first full-length feature film to be shot in Hollywood? The Great Train Robbery, Intolerance, The Floor Walker, The Squaw Man. Final answer. No, I'm sorry. It's the score man. The score man. You want $32,000, D? Okay, good. Good luck to you. Thanks very, very much. Squaw man. It was Cecil B. DeMille's first film back in 1913, but hey, D goes home with $32,000. We wish you well. And now it's time to meet more players with a million dollar opportunity at their fingertips, and they are Ivan Al Khali, West Bloomfield, Michigan, Amy Harrelson, Reno, Nevada, Laura Forrester, Chicago, Illinois, Judy Ayun, Key Gardens, New York, James Fennessy, San Francisco, California, Willard Smith, Kendallville, Indiana, Becky Burlson, Grand Prairie, Texas, Garrison Scott, Cameron Park, California, Lyle Willis, Topeka, Kansas, Tim Alcorn, Broomfield, Colorado. Okay, congratulations everybody on getting this far. Now here comes tonight's first Fast as Finger question. Here it is. Put these musical groups in alphabetical order. R.E.M., O-Town, ABBA, U2. Okay, the time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. The correct alphabetical order, and it is ABBA, and then O-Town, R.E.M., and U2. That's the order. Who got it right? Fancy time for looking. A lot of people got it right. The winner, Willie Smith. <laughs> It's Willard uh, Smith from uh, Kendallville, Indiana. Where, where is that in Indiana? Uh, the northeast corner. Northeast corner near what city? Uh, it's closest to Fort Wayne. Is it a small town? Oh, very small. Yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a color lab technician. I make formulas for, uh, we make color samples for paint samples. You for all specific the, uh, paints. Well, yeah, you see all the kinds of stuff you see in the hardware store for taking home. Sure. You're the guy that does that, huh? I'm the beginning. <laughs> Good. All right, fine. And uh, let's see, you're a single band? Yes. Got a girlfriend out there in Indiana? No, nah, no. No, not, not yet, huh? <laughs> so your mom is your companion. How you doing, Martha? Nice to have you here. Yeah. All right, so Willard, uh, let's go for it, okay? Okay. Ready to win a million dollars? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, very nice. Go home and buy all the paint you want. <laughs> you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's do it. Let's play. Oh, incidentally, you know what the rules are now, right? Ask the audience, phone a friend, 50-50. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Willard. Here we go, Willard. $100. A perfect remedy is said to be just what the who ordered. Would it be doctor, coach, gym teacher, Colonel Sanders? That would be A, doctor, final answer. Yes, Willard, you won $100. You're going for $200 right now. On a computer keyboard, alt is short for what? Altitude, alternate, altogether. DEFCON 5. Well, computers are my favorite, so it's definitely B, alternate. Final answer. Yes, you're right. It's alternate. Here it is, Willard, for 300. 
A restriction on the discussion of a particular subject is known as what kind of rule? Blindfold rule? Earmuff rule? Gag rule? Awkward silence? Well, I have a lot of awkward silences, but it would be gag rule, C, final answer. Got it for 300 bucks. <laughs> what a going for 500. When drawing straws, a person gets chosen by picking which straw? Last straw, shortest straw, thickest straw, bent straw. That would be B, shortest straw, final answer. And you won $500. $1,000, Willard. Which of the following is a popular type of thin, stringy pasta? Baby's breath, purse string, cat whisker, angel hair. Ah, uh, that would be D, angel hair, final answer. Yes, Willie, you won $1,000. Angel hair, too. All right, we're going to get back. Willie's going to go for $2,000. We'll be back in a moment. Willie Smith, color lamp technician for a company that makes paint samples in the hot seat right now, has won $1,000, going for $2,000. So what do you do for fun out there in Kendallville? Well, I like to surf the internet. You know what I like about you, Willard? Every time you answer me, you say, well... <laughs> I see you on the front porch of the house, Willard, with a cord cob pipe. Well, well, here in Indiana. <laughs> well... <laughs> my favorite word. Uh, deep subject. What, what do you do there? Well, a lot For of fun. I, <laughs> a lot of times, I like, uh, there's this website where you can enter dollar bill serial numbers and stamp them or... And send or go out and spend them. So I'll this have is a, on the internet. Yes. You you mark your own dollar bill. Right. How does this work? And put in the serial number. Then when somebody else gets a hold of that, and uh, they decide to act on the stamp, they go to the website, type that in, and you'll find out where the dollar bill travels. And what good does that do you? Do you win another dollar bill? No, no, no. It's just a hobby. Just see how. You just see where your dollar bill has gone. And uh, <laughs> I've had one that. Ended up over 3,000 miles away. No kidding. One of your dollar bills went 3,000 miles away. Where? Where did it go? I didn't say exactly. It was an APO address, a military, but it didn't give a specific point. 3,000 miles must have been overseas. Well, somewhere. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else you do, Willard? Well, <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> I collect coins from now and then. Do you? What kind of coins you collect? Uh, mostly U.S., a uh, few foreign. Yeah? You got your own coin collection there? Is it pretty valuable? Yeah. I guess <laughs> not, but you say, yeah, it's done it well. Maybe, maybe after tonight. All right, well, glad you're here, Willard. You want $1,000. Let's go for $2,000. Let's win a million, okay? Let's play. Here it is, Willard, for $2,000. Who was the president of the United States at the start of World War II? Herbert Hoover, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Start of World War II. Well, I know Franklin D. Roosevelt was at the start when the U.S. actually got into it. But I don't remember if he was the president when it started in Europe. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with B. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Final answer. Final answer. Well, you're right for $2,000. Okay, Willard, let's make it 4000 a famous love scene from the 1990 movie, Ghost, begins as Demi Moore's character is doing what? Making pottery, baking cookies, planting roses, playing the violin. Ah, that's a classic scene, so I'm going to say A, making pottery, final answer. And you won $4,000. Well, it's going for eight grand right now. A sachet is usually used to hold which of the following? Raw meat, running water, perfumed powder, golf clubs. Well, I'm pretty sure that is C, perfume and powder. Final answer. Yes, Willie, you got it. Eight dollars. 
Here it comes for $16,000. Fred Durst is the lead singer of what rock band? Corn, Tool, Limp Bizkit, Travis. Okay, I know it's not Tool or Travis. I'm pretty sure it's Corn, but I think this is one I better ask the audience. Let's go to the audience then. We need your help for Willard. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 62% say it's Limp Biscuit and Corn came in the second with almost uh, half of what the first uh, contestant got. And this looks like a fairly young audience, so I'll take their word for it. I'll go with C, Limp Biscuit, final answer. Limp Biscuit it is for 16 dollars Okay, Willard, we gotta win this one. It's for $32,000. In Tom Clancy's 1998 book, Rainbow Six, the title is the code name for what? Secret agent, nuclear missile, spy satellite, stealth fighter. Ah, uh, that's one of my favorite books, and if I remember correctly, that would be a secret agent. Final. Final. Yes, for 32,000. So you do a little reading, too, huh? Yep. Came in handy that time. All right, Willie, you're five away from a million. Two lifelines left, and here it is for 64,000. The Ghats Mountains are located in what country? China, India, Switzerland, Greece. Uh, geography isn't one of my strong points. So... I think I better use a phone a friend on this one. Sure, you got somebody who's interested in geography? Well, more so than me. Um, I'm gonna call my brother, Carl. Carl? Is he younger or older than you? Two years younger. What does he do? Uh, he works at the same place I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, AT&T, we need brother Carl. Hello? Hello, Carl. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from the Wants to Be a Millionaire. How you doing? I'm doing great, Regis. How are you doing? I've got your mom and Willard here. Mm hmm Have you noticed how many times Willard says, well? Mm, yes, I've noticed that. All right, fine. How's so he doing? Sounds like you got a little well in you, too. <laughs> well, he's going for 64000 right now. All right? All right. All right, he's going to come on. He has 30 seconds to give you all the information. We start right now. All right. Okay, Carl, the Gats Mountains are located in what country? China, India, Switzerland, or Greece? I just spell it for him. G-H-A-T-S. G-H-A-T-S. Gats Mountains. Oh, I'm afraid I have no idea. Never heard of them. Well, it sounds like either China or India. Yeah, it does sound kind of Chinese to me, but... Uh... Three seconds. Uh... <laughs> All right, you're down to 50-50. You've won 32,000. This is really a free guess. You can narrow it down by two, and then you'll have a 50% chance of making it. Or you can save that life. I know you can, I think you should play for it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. 50, well, let's go for the 50-50. Narrow it down, please, computer. <clears throat> well, nothing left to lose. Um... There's probably more mountains in China, so I'm going to go with A, China. Final answer. No, it was India. It was India, but you got $32,000. Well, it was good having you on the show. Good luck, kid. Thanks very much. Well. $32,000 is a lot of dollar bills to keep track of on the internet, and Willard should be happy with that for a long time. All right, everybody, focus now, because here's the next fastest finger question. Put these companies in the order they were founded, starting with the earliest. McDonald's, Coca-Cola Company, Home Depot, Priceline.com.
Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest company, and it was Coca-Cola. And then McDonald's, and then Home Depot, and then Priceline.com. Now, that's the right order. Everybody got it right? Yeah, a bunch of people got it right. The fastest the winner, Laura. We'll be back, and Laura's going to go for a million dollars. How you doing? She's the one you need when you're torn between two lovers. I'm just doing my job, that's all. Wendy Williams hosts Love Triangle, the show where three lovers and two rivals... ...could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Laura Forrester from Chicago, Illinois, in that hot seat right now, and it's nice to have you here. Thank you. What do you do? I'm a criminal prosecutor. I work for the state, uh, state's attorney's office in Chicago, Illinois. Mmm. Criminal prosecutor in Chicago. Yes. Tough job? Yes. I put the bad guys in jail, Regis. Do you? I try to. Do you win every case? No, but I sure try. Now, have you always wanted to be a lawyer? Well, I have, but actually, uh, my dream job would be a professional wine taster that owns a flower shop. <laughs> exactly what I want to be. <laughs> and there's your husband, John, behind you there. Hi, John. John's an attorney, too. Yes, I am, Regis. From Notre Dame. Yes, I am. Go Irish. Long line of Notre Damers. Yes, I, I hear your whole family went there. Very good. All right, Linda, let's get started with you. You know the rules. You know the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Linda Fox. $100. To make the best of a bad situation, a person often says, someday we'll look back on this and what? Yawn, laugh, cheer, go into therapy. The answer is B, laugh. Final answer. Yes, it is. You want 100 Okay, Linda, for $200, take a look at this one. Which of the following would a person most likely take to help relieve indigestion? Antacid? Aspirin, talcum powder, whole sticks of butter. A, antacid, final answer. Yes, it's antacid. <laughs> Did I call you Linda? I meant Laura. Laura, here it is for $300. A person typically takes the SAT while in what level of school? Elementary, junior high, high school, clown college. <laughs> The answer is C, high school, final answer. Yes, it is, and you won $300. Going now for 500 In the U.S., what is the slang term for an undercover operation used to catch criminals? Gate, drop, tail, sting. The answer is D, sting, final answer. Got it, for $500. She's up to 1000 in what year did the United States celebrate the bicentennial of the American Revolution? 1963, 1976, 1987, 1958. The answer is B, 1976, final. 76 is right for 1,000. Now she's up to $2,000. Here it comes. Relationship expert Dr. Phil is a regular guest on whose TV talk show? Jerry Springer, Rosie O'Donnell, Oprah Winfrey, Jenny Jones. I think it's Oprah Winfrey. Unfortunately, I'm not positive. And... Dr. Phil... I think Jerry Springer does a lot of counseling that's very constructive. Um, gosh, Regis, I hate to do this so early, but I'm going to have to ask the audience. Sure, I understand. Audience, we need some help for Laura. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. <laughs> Wait, it's Oprah by 82%. Here I am from Chicago and everything. I don't know that. But well, you're working there in the day. Uh, yeah. There. Um, I'm going to go with the audience. See, final answer. Yes, Dr. Phil is on Oprah's show. $4,000, Laura. 
Which of the following is most often true of a camisole? It's white, it's sleeveless, it has pockets, it has a zipper. Well, I would say B, it's sleeveless. Final answer. Yes, you're right. She's up to 8,000. The marlin is most closely related to which of these fish? Trout, catfish, salmon, swordfish. The answer is D, swordfish, final answer. Yes, it is for $8,000. All right, you're really rolling. Here it is for 16,000. In a 1996 song, what performer sings about having two turntables and a microphone? Dave Matthews, Lenny Kravitz, Beck, Snoop Dogg. The answer is C, Beck, final answer. Beck is right for 16,000. Yeah, Laura. When we come back, she's going to go for $32,000, and we'll be back in a moment. Talking with the uh, state prosecuting attorney uh, Laura Forrester from Chicago, Illinois, and her husband John. Now, how long have you been married? A little over a year now, Regis. And how did that happen, John? Uh, well, uh, we had plans to go to uh, Paris for the millennium. And uh, I thought, well, I'll buy a ring and give it to her on New Year's Eve. Uh, but I chickened out and uh, gave it to her right before Christmas. You chickened out in Paris, but gave it to her at Christmas time. Well, that's nice. Well, you're doing fine here. We got uh, to 16,000. We're going for 32,000, Laura. Let's play. <laughs> Very important, Laura. 32,000. Take check it out. What people conquered Russia in the 13th century and established an empire known as the Golden Horde? Vandals, Ottomans, Mongols, Huns. I don't really know, Regis. I have an idea, but 32 is big, and I would like to use a lifeline, please. Okay, who do you want to call? I would like to call Bernie. What does Bernie do? Uh, Bernie is a very good friend of my husband's, and he's also my boss. You think Bernie knows about 13th century Russia, huh? Boy, do I hope so. Well, let's find out. We need Bernie, AT&T. Hello? Hello, Bernie. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from New York City. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Regis? Good. We're doing fine here, too. We have Laura in the hot seat and John back there pulling for her. And uh, she's kind of stymied right now with a question she thinks you might know the answer to. Great. All right, Bernie? I'm ready. Laura, 30 seconds starts now. What people conquered Russia in the 13th century and established an empire known as the Golden Horde? Vandals? Ottomans, Mongols, Huns. 19 seconds. Uh, the Vandals, what was the second one? Ottomans, O-T-T-O-M-A-N-S, 10 seconds. Uh, D, but we're about 75% sure, maybe. D. He said D, didn't he? He did say D, I think. So I guess that means Huns. Um. 75 percent, huh? I just, uh, boy. You know, it's very important that you get the 32. You can narrow it down by two and see if Bernie's choice holds up. If you want to. I'm thinking Attila the Hun, mm -hmm. which the Golden Horde, that, it all sounds very ornery. <laughs> Sounds like somebody you might have been working on years ago. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to go with Bernie, and I'm going to say D, final answer. She's going with Bernie, and Bernie is wrong. It was the month. Oh, Laura, I'm sorry. A thousand dollars. But you got John back there. What are you worried about? You did great, kid. Thank you. Ah, those Huns. 
They were in China hundreds of years earlier, and it's too bad, Laura. We hope you had a good time, though. All right, contestants are waiting, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these words in order by the number of syllables in their names, starting with the lowest number. Mozzarella, Parmesan, Whey, Cheddar. And the time is up, and now let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the lowest number, syllables, Whey, and then Cheddar. Parmesan, mozzarella. Now that's the right order. Let's see who did it fastest time. Winner is Lyle. Come on, let's go, baby. Well, Lyle Willis from Topeka, Kansas. Topeka, Kansas. So, what do you do out there in Topeka? I'm a network administrator with the Kansas Department of Transportation. Which I've means. Uh, I make servers work so people can log into their own computers and do shared work. I got gotcha. you. You are a computer fan, aren't you? Yes, very much what so. What does your wife call you? Uh, she thinks I'm the ultimate computer nerd. You've been at the job how long now? Uh, actually, I've been with the Department of Transportation for 13 years, but I've been doing the computer stuff for the last six. And the transportation in Topeka and Kansas, is that all on the computer? Yes, we, yeah. have, we actually have servers statewide. All throughout the state, we have people logging into Do you our have servers. traffic jams in Kansas? All the time. No kidding. <laughs> well, in Kansas City but, yeah. and Wichita, but Topeka, our rush hour lasts about two minutes. Two minutes, right. All right, well, welcome to our show. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Lyle Willis. Here it is, Lyle, for $100. When it is apparent that something is about to fail, it is often said that the writing is on the what? Scroll, wall, menu, prenuptial agreement. Well, with my two-year-old little boy, the writing is often on the wall. Final answer. Yes, you're right. It's on the wall for $100. Now, take a look at this one for $200. Which of the following is a traditional bagel topping? Lox, spaghetti, Spare ribs, Alberto V05. Coming to New York, I saw this for the very first time yesterday. It was Lox. Final? Final answer. And Lox it is for $200. <laughs> 300 The name of what chess piece also means a person used to further the goals of another? Pawn, bishop, knight, hermit. Uh, the answer is A, pawn, final. Yes, it is. It's born to one three hundred. Five hundred dollars for Lyle. Handbills are normally made out of what? Stone, rubber, copper, paper. Well, I believe this is something that normally somebody would hand out on the street. I'll say D, paper. Final. Final answer. Yes, they're made out of paper. They won five hundred. One thousand dollars. Which of these professionals is most likely to use a stud finder at work? A florist, carpenter, barber, auto mechanic? I have one of those at home, and for some reason, whenever I'm around, it won't go off. But uh, it'd be B, carpenter. Final? Final answer. One of thousand dollars, Lyle. Well, we're going to take a break, and when we get back, Lyle's going to go for two thousand dollars. We've got Lyle Willits in the hot seat right now. He's from Topeka, Kansas. And his wife says that he's the world's ultimate computer nerd. Now, why, why do you say that, Sandy? Well, he speaks a whole different language than the rest of us. In fact, my, um, my two and a half year old, I have to translate what he's saying because Lyle doesn't understand him. <laughs> Give me an example. Well, you might say that you would browse to ABC.com. I would never say that. You would never say that. Well, somebody you browse, know might. Like, you mean on the computer? On the All computer. Right, well, go ahead. You'd open your browser it. and browse to abc.com. I would say that your computer has registered a domain name service request using a uniform resource, resource locator to uh, access a server through a numerical address to download hypertext transfer protocol pages. Sandy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, Lyle. You won 1,000. We're going for 2,000. Let's play. All right, check this one out, Lyle, for two grand. 
Which of these TV cartoon characters is a member of the Royal Order of Water Buffaloes? Homer Simpson, George Jetson, Fred Flintstone, Hank Hill. That would be C, Fred Flintstone, final answer. And it is Fred Flintstone. Four thousand, Lyle. A boutonniere is made of which of the following? Flowers, gemstones, buttons, candy. That would be A, flowers, final answer. Yes, for $4,000, a boutonniere made of flowers. He's going for $8,000. Life tastes good is the current slogan for what popular drink brand? 7-Up, Snapple, Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew. Uh, that would be C, Coca-Cola, final answer. Very, very good. You got $8,000. Lyle Willett's going for 16000 In the children's book, The Cricket in Times Square, what is the name of the cricket? Conrad, Chester, Charlie, Carlson. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. Uh, I think I'd like to ask the audience. Why don't we do that? Audience, we need some help for Lyle on your keypads. Using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 50% say it's Chester, and Charlie came in second at 24. Oh. I hate to do it, but I think I'd like to 50-50 and make sure that stays there. Sure, I understand. Computer, take away two of those wrong ones. Still there. I'll say B. Chester. Final answer. Yes, for sixteen thousand dollars. All right, the all-important thirty-two thousand dollar question. In the nineteen ninety-eight film *Stepmom*, what is the profession of Julia Roberts' character? Kindergarten teacher, fashion photographer, psychologist, newspaper columnist. Unfortunately, this is a film I did not see. Um, which leaves me with phone a friend. Somebody who goes to the movies. Which is another difficult call. Um, I think I'd like to call Lee. What does Lee do? He is a computer programmer with uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield in Topeka. All right, let's try Lee, AT&T. We need him. Hello, Lee. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from the Millionaire Show. Hi, Regis. How you doing? Okay. I'm here with your computer buddy, Lyle. Okay. Needs your help right now. He's going for $32,000, so it's important. All right, he'll be on in, uh, again, a few seconds now and give you the question and the four possible answers. You have 30 seconds, Lyle. Good luck. It starts now. Lee, in the 1998 film Stepmom, what is the profession of Julia Roberts' character? Is she a kindergarten teacher? Fashion photographer, psychologist, or newspaper columnist? 18 seconds. Uh, um, I didn't see the movie. What were the professions again? Uh, kindergarten teacher, fashion photographer, psychologist, newspaper columnist. Uh, I'd have to guess because I didn't see a step. Uh, psychologist would be my guess, but that's it's purely guess. Okay, thanks. Well, that's too bad. Now all the lifelines are gone. Now look, you can leave with $16,000. So you could go for it, have a 25% chance of making it, and wind up with 32. Well, you know, it is, I do awfully well at home. It is a whole different ball game when you get up here. Yeah. And I think I'm going to take the 16 and go. Sure, why not? The answer is fashion photographer. $16,000, Lyle. It was nice having you here on the show. Take care of yourself. Well, $16,000 is still great money. Good luck, Lyle. Okay, it's the 11th hour, and here's the last fastest finger question of the night. 
with these movies in order by the number in their titles, starting with the lowest number. One fine day, 102 Dalmatians, three men and a baby, 13 days. All right, the time's up again. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the lowest number, and it's one fine day. Then three men and a baby, and then 13 days, and finally 102 Dalmatians. Let's see who got this one right in the past this time. We have a winner here, and it's Amy Harris. Way to go, Amy. Good for you. Thank you. Come on, let's go for it. Right up in there. Amy Harrelson in the hot seat from Reno, Nevada. Amy, we only have a few seconds left, so let's get right to it. Let's okay. play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Amy Harris. <laughs> All right, Amy, for $100, a highlighter is an office supply used to do what? Bind paper, punch holes, mark text on a page, impress the ladies. That would be a C, mark text on a page. Yes, you got it for $100. Now, take a look at this one for $200. A bouncer at a nightclub who cards you is typically checking your what? Age, height, gender, funkability. <laughs> that would be A, age. Yes, he's checking your age for $200. Well, that sound means we're out of time for tonight, but Amy will be back on Thursday night at 9, 8 central.